and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me because I am off to Café del Mar. It's a Sunday today and I just created this look. It was really random and I didn't actually plan it. What I did know is that I wanted to use the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette because it is just gorgeous. I mean, come on. Now these shades screen to you. I did a very natural look, um, so definitely next time I will use the more vivid colours that you don't usually wear every day. So yeah, anyways, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to see how I got this look and you want to see me getting ready, then keep on watching. Bye guys, and here we go. We're going to start by obviously putting our hair backwards. And I'm going to start by priming my face. Um, that is something I always do and the primer I'm going to use is this one right here. I absolutely love it It's NYX Angel Veil Primer. It is just amazing and it works wonders all over my face So now I'm going to see which foundation to use today. I'm going to be using the Flormar Matte Touch um, foundation it has vitamin E in it and it is soft and healthy for the skin and I'm applying this using my Milani foundation brush just place it all over the face the cover is quite buildable so I'm just going to add another layer of it for that more finished look and then you make sure obviously that if you're wearing a low top like I am you just have to blend the foundation into your neck. For concealer I'm going to be using the Rimmel Patch Match Perfection Concealer and I have mine in the shade 30. So we're just going to use it under our eyes. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques um, Miracle Sponge. I always like going back in with my fingertips to just, you know, blend everything out nicely. Um, for powder, we're going to bake under our eyes and I'm going to be using the same um, powder from the same collection, the Rimmel Matte Perfection Translucent Powder. Basically going to apply it with my Miracle Sponge. And then we'll go back in to obviously um, powder all, our, all the rest of our faces. So as I wait for the baking powder to settle in, I always go ahead and do my brows. And the brow pencil I'm using today is this one by Benefit. It is their um, Goof Proof Brow Pencil and mine is in the shade... I always forget what shade I got mine in. Mine is in the shade Tree. So what I like about this is you get this so you can shape your brows well. Now I really need to go do my brows so like ignore extra hair. So now I'm going to just gently fill in my brows. Okay, so after having filled in my brows, I will fill them in with brow gel. And the brow gel that I'm constantly using is this one by Max Factor. It's a natural brow gel. And I just use that to just set my brows now when you're once when you're finished you can go ahead and just fluff out all the powder and since we're all with the Rimmel I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Match Perfection and mine is in the shade Peach Glow and I'm just gonna use that to gently settle all my powder all my foundation and all my look I guess so, now I always like doing my eyes and for my eyes I'm going to be using this palette right here. It's just amazing. It's the Violet Voss um, Pro Eyeshadows palette and I recently got it in the mail and it's just so pretty. I mean it's so heavy. Um, the packaging I thought it would be much better quality for the price it is but I mean the shadows are perfectly, are so perfect and they just blend in so nicely as well. So we're going to use a blending brush. I'm gonna find one. Okay, let's use this one. So I'm gonna use a blending brush and I'm gonna take the shade Transition, which is right here. Wait, where is it? It's right there. Maybe we can zoom in a little bit. So now you can see me apply better the shadows. So I'm gonna take that Transition shade on top of the axis and I'm just going to put it into my crease.
Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Bestie, which is quite similar. I'm just going to build up the color. It's right that one. And now I'm going to take a flat brush and we're just going to take Cool Beans, which is right this one. And I'm going to apply it all over my lid. And as you can see, like, they're really pigmented. I'm not even using any Fix Plus. Um, I'm going to take Crystal, which is this shade right here. I'm going to take Crystal and I'm going to put it in the inner corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the um, Bestie again and just, you know, just blend everything in together. Um, and then I'm going to take Bestie and Transition together and just put that onto, um, on my waterline. I'm going to place Crystal um, on, their, on my eyebrow bone. Up there, basically, to highlight under my eyebrow bone. Um, now I'm going to take an eyeliner. So I'm going to take Rimmel Scandal Eyes Tick and Tin Eyeliner and I'm just going to use um, that to do a line on my top uh, lash line. So now we're going to um, do our bottom and top lashes. I'm going to be using the W7 Shouting Out um, Mascara. And for my bottom lashes, I'm using the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless um, Mascara. Okay, so that's what I did to my eyes, and now we're going to move on to what I want to do to the rest of my face. I'm going to zoom out. So I am enjoying the Body Butter Brown <coughs> Body, yeah, the butter. I'm enjoying the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I just love using it every day to just bronze up my face. And what I use is my Milani Power Powder Brush, and I just basically bronze my face. And it has such a nice smell as well to it. So my, for my base I'm going to be using the Milani Bake Blush in Coralina. So I'm just going to take this with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. Oh dear, that's a lot. I'm just going to gently do it. You really don't have to apply too much because that is just too much on your face I think. For highlight I'm going to be using the Nicole Guerrero um, highlight palette that she collaborated with Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to be taking Glow Glitter which is this one right here and with my fan brush just going to apply it all over okay and now the hardest part of all is choosing the lip color because I honestly don't know what lip color I kind of want to use yet so let me think a little bit. Okay, so I've thought about it. I think the one I'm going to be using is by Huda Beauty and it's this one right here. It's called Bombshell. So, sort of like an orangey nude pink. So I think it will go well with the look. Um, so this is the finished look. I hope you really liked it and I hope you enjoy getting ready with me. I'm going to be off because I have to finish changing because what I'm wearing underneath is my pyjama shorts and I have to change that obviously. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, that's it. Bye guys!